presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars. <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year. And, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like a brute and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother, I you're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, a great week, and a great month, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have a perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 511. You get the NASDAQ up 229. S&Ps are up 75. Gold, gold contract up $6.10, trading at 1993 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, $22.89 an ounce. Late sweet crude. Up $2.11, $82.55 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, up 20 ticks, trading 107.15. The 30-year up a full two points, plus two ticks at 112.16 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 750 ticks, trading at 106, 134. The Euro is at 106, the Yen's trading 150, and the British Pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's actually take a look at the futures first because you're up 76 points, you know, which is a gain of, uh, you know, 1.8% inside the S&P. And I just want to take a look at this and see if they're going to run this baby right into the close because when you're up this high, folks, okay, um, you know, bottom line is that you can get, you can get a run. That's, that's what it comes down to. You know, right now the futures aren't telling me anything, actually, you know. The last time we had the real juice in them were, you know, let's see, it's 33. That's it's about uh, 18 points lower than where we are right now. That being said, though, my take is that we're on the way to a lot higher prices. And why? Because my take is that the note and bond market has bottomed and the dollar has topped. We take, okay, we take a look at the SPY. What you're going to see, you get 63 million in the SPY. So what you have here is this. You already broke, yesterday we broke into one range. Well, now we're going to be basically going to the next range. The next range is on the S&P is at 433. We're at 430 right now. Now, the NDX 100, different ball game. So the NDX 100 never even broke its 200-day on this uh, way on the way down. It was right before it. Let me, I'll just put that up for you so you can see it if you're watching Tiger TV. You can see what happened. It came down, but it never broke it, okay? That be, so that just shows how strong it is. Now, come on, baby, here we go. We put that in here, and what you're going to see is that, you know, right now this, this we're at 463. Well, what you have game out here is the 487. Now, what's going to be intriguing, of course, is that we're going to have Apple come out with numbers after the close out here today. And, you know, the numbers that Apple's looking for, you know, Apple has, you know, I mean, it's a powerhouse, but the bottom line is that when you take a look at these numbers, you know, last year Apple did 394 billion. This year is 383, so it's down. Now next year they're looking to do 404 billion. That's going to be just a raising of prices across the board. So Apple's going to be looking for 89 billion, 89.4 billion to the top line, dollar 39 to the bottom line. And I suspect what we're going to see 
is that it's going to be on some of that. See that one is product, 316 billion. The other services, 78 billion. Well, we'll see how this whole thing shakes out. But uh, Apple is going to make a difference after the close. Normally, they come out at 415. Um, you know. Uh, now, what Apple has also done, you know, Apple is basically right where this came down the last time. You know, so it's going to be a toss-up with Apple after the close. Notes and bonds, however, are not a toss-up. Here we go at notes and bonds. This has been trying to make a bottom. I think we got a decent bottom in there now. Was trying to make a bottom seven. Well, it was making a bottom for about ten days. We did two point. We're doing two point one million contracts right now. It's great contract volume. We have broken the down trend. You broke it with conviction. That's saying that the ten year wants to rent to now one fourteen. Oh, three. Now we're at 107. Now, if that's what we get, what you're going to see inside this 10 year, we'll put this 10 year up for a second so you can take a look at it. The high of the 10 year is 4.990. That was only two weeks ago. We're at 4.665. You'll see this thing under four if that's where we go. And that's going to be the beginning of bottom line, as I said the last few days. The Fed may not be pulling back on rates, but the market is going to do the Fed's job, just as the market did the Fed's job on bringing rates higher. If you remember how this worked out, the, the market itself was pushing rates higher three months before the Fed actually even went up. We take a look at the dollar. You know, bottom line is that the dollar, you know, we're down 760 ticks, which isn't bad, but the dollar is still, you know, struggling to stay higher. <laughs> That's the reality. You know, it's still in this range up here. Now, my take is that we're building cars in this range to get down to where we broke out from. And where we broke out from is that 104, 699 level. You know, that, that's, on the, that's on the smaller time frame. Smaller time frame, I'm talking about two or three weeks. I think we'll be there within a couple of weeks. Larger time frame, I'm expecting this to get all the way under a buck. 99 is going to be the move. Why? Because this was a break with conviction on the way down. You're building cars up at this level. It should get, you know, uh, some support at this 104.699 because it took that long to break that. You can see that we're messing with that for about uh, about 10 days. First, it looked like we're going to give it up. Then it went above and below. It did the whole ball of wax. And that's what normally happens when you're coming into swing points that are very important. And this is a really important swing point. The gold. Gold contract continues to want higher price. That's the bottom line. No matter what happens, and it's going to be intriguing, folks, because as rates come down, now gold can really run. You know, gold was up when rates were up, and now rates are pulling back. You know, gold's only up $6 today, but it looks to me, you're building costs to try to first get through this 2008. Uh, 2129 is game, and I suspect more than likely, what we're going to end up seeing somehow, it's going to end up being an ABC structure up. We'll take the B point out. We've been building cars now for two weeks inside of the gold market. Stay right there, folks. we got our man, Mr. Tim Wood, coming up with us. And don't forget, folks, uh, Tim is going to be doing a workshop for us this coming Tuesday. And, you know, bottom line, if you've been following Tim, uh, Tim absolutely hit it out of the park in the gold market and hit it out of the park in the S&P. So if you want to understand what he looks at, Go over and sign up for that web webinar right now. Coming right back. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Ord joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstaff breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 526. You get the Nasdaq up 233. S&Ps are up 77. If we look at some of the higher volume equities out here, folks, uh, this is what we have. You have uh, Tesla's up uh, 12 bucks. You got, uh, let's see, uh, Apple, uh, that, that's up three bucks. No big deal there. Ruko is up 18. That, that's quite a move. You got PayPal up three. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, let's take a look at inside the Dow, what's putting points inside the Dow out here. So inside the Dow Industrials, what you have is this. You have Home Depot. Oh, yeah, we got to go to these. The, 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 I was talking about yesterday, the home stocks went to the moon. Uh, you got Home Depot putting 50 points, positive points. And this is all about interest rate structure, folks. Home Depot, 50 points. You got Caterpillar, 47 points, positive into, into the Dow, Goldman 42. The only one that is uh, negative is uh, five points into Travelers. And in the NDX 100, we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. And what you have, you have uh, the car maker Lucid, that's up 13.5%. Starbucks is up 10. We're going to look at that. That's, that's intriguing. You got uh, Walgreen Boots is up uh, eight. And you got, uh, yeah, Trade Desk is up seven and a half. Taken away from it is Moderna's off seven and a half. You got um, Cognizant Technologies off three, Airbnb's off three. So let's get over, let's go take a look at Starbucks here. This gets interesting. Okay, so Starbucks. Nine fifteen. That's some real juice, man. They, they come out with some good numbers, evidently. Yeah, so let's take a look here. They got a new CFO, and uh, the bottom line, the new CFO gave a big forecast in uh, 2024. And we're going to be drinking, evidently, a lot of coffee and eating a lot of sweets. Okay, that's what it seems like. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And our man, Mr. Tim Ord, folks, not only hit it out of the park in gold, he hit it out of the park in the S&P, if you've been following us uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you want to understand how Tim looks at the market, folks, okay, and what type of ratios that he uses to look at the market. Well, it's very easy to do because Tim is going to be doing a workshop this Tuesday. This coming Tuesday, it's only $149. If you go to the front page of TFNN, bottom line, you can sign up right now. It's going to be from 4 to 5.30. You know, you've seen the results. That's the bottom line. The results are the biggest deal, man. So, you know, you want to understand the market? 
you want to understand something that people don't have, okay? Because the, the bottom line is that when you go through these, they don't have them. You want the formulas, come over to the workshop. And if you can't make it live, folks, remember that it's always archived and you can go over it as many times as you want. Tim Ord, what's going on? All right. Uh, I kind of made the charts hopefully a little bit more easier to read. I think uh, um, we were going so, uh, so fast on Tuesday, I think people were kind of confused what the chart's all about. So um, I'm hoping that to make this a lot clearer. And so no, people listen, understand. man, it's, it's, all, it, it, it's, it's always clear what happened there, and I apologize, folks, okay? It was on my side, and you know that's how that it really was, Tim. So I, I apologize, but the, this oh, is no, it's, this, it's, this is sweet. You got yeah. the you got the mocked off right now, and first off, congratulations, man. I mean, you know, this is you know we've been on the air now for quite a while. Uh, you know, first you hit the gold market, and you know the bottom line is that you hit this one nice. And I don't know if you have the swag deal on this one, but before you get off, I want to know what that number is. <laughs> we'll start with John right, one, yeah. though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it on. Um, oh, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, this is start uh, from chart one. Okay. Um, this is there's you know uh, I've been saying you know that you got to have panic and the, you know the trend and ticks are really good. Well, sometimes they didn't trigger on this last decline. The uh, ticks and trend really the ten day didn't really get into bullish territory, and it happens uh, every while. So you got to have more tools in your toolbox. That's right to pick out uh, to pick out what's going on. You're like Robin but, you Hood know, when your quiver is full. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So you you know you can't. I don't rely on one indicator, but if you get two or three lining up like this time around, I did. Then uh, you kind of step up and you catch the falling knife, as they say. And uh, you know, we, we went long Friday, and basically that was a closing low. Yes. So, but anyhow, let's, let's look at it in chart one. Okay, and, I have uh, it up. All right. Uh, well, anyhow, the middle windows of chart one is basically the VIX. It's uh, the daily VIX. That's all it is. VIX trades opposite of the. SPY or SPX. Yes. So in other words, if VIX goes uh, goes up, usually the market goes down, and if uh, the SPs go up, uh, the VIX goes down. But when you get the VIX going up, or if you got the VIX actually going up, uh, how's that? See, I can't think here. If, no, you, the, if you got the VIX going up when the SPs are going down, um, that's that's usually uh, the right way to, to look at. So I I look at uh, so instead of um, running out, I do the SPX VIX ratio. What that does is reverse the um, ratio to look similar to the SPY chart. So when the SPX VIX ratio is going up, also the SPI is going up. And when that happens, you got a confirmed uptrend. But when you get divergences going on, in other words, you got the uh, S&Ps going down and the VIX uh, going down with it, that's the divergence. And if you look over to the right side window, the very right side, yes, you notice the the S and P kind of fell through the floor going into last Friday, uh, March twenty seventh. Yes, and and if you see the VIX, it was it was actually going up in that time frame. That's the reason I got those little dotted lines there to show uh, that the market was going down, and the and the VIX was also. Uh, Going down, going and that's down. A positive right. divergence, and that's the reason why. One of the reasons why I went into uh, the market. Yeah, previous now, times. Um, you know, if you go back and look on the chart, you know, go back to the 2022 high. Yes. Uh, way back there, it's kind of circled in uh, kind of a light pink there. If you notice, the S and P's were going up, and and right above that's the VIX. The VIX was also making higher lows. Uh, so that was the reason why I got bearish in 2022. Right and now, yeah, just give me one, just right. give me one second, so. Tim, because I I want to show the folks this. So to cut to the chase, folks. Okay, what Tim was saying here when he went long Friday. Okay, which is important, and this is what he's going to be going over on this coming Tuesday. I want to show you. I'm just going to bring another chart on top of his. I want to show you on Friday. So when you look at on Friday, you're going to see what Tim's talking about. What should have been happening there. When the S&P was getting smoked, well, guess what? The VIX went from 22 to 19.75. So it went the opposite way, meaning that if the S&P is getting smoked, 
well, we should have been going after those highs, and we weren't. And that was, that's, that's the kicker. And that's, that's one of the big signals that he's talking about. Okay, Tim, go ahead. Yep. Right, yeah, that's, that's good. And there's another time in uh, 2023, that's a kind of a light blue area in the middle of the chart. Okay, and, yeah, I see that. Uh, we were talking on the radio, and everybody, I remember, was kind of bear, bearish. Yep. Uh, around that April May period, and then I got that uh, little. The market was kind of going sideways there. Yes. And uh, and if you notice the uh, chart, uh, the VIX was actually going down. Right. Uh, so that was the reason why I stayed long, and the market uh, you know so, went up to that top. Just I stay right. Just stay right there. Tim and I are coming right back, and then the commercial break, folks. You can get over there and sign up for this workshop. Tim and I are coming right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim O'Reilly, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and prowl on us. We have the Dow up by 510, NASDAQ's up 224, S&Ps are up 75. Okay, Tim. All right. Actually, we were talking about, I meant to put that Zwag, uh, uh, indicator in today's re uh, list, and I forgot to do it, but I did, uh, did check it as 0.58, okay. and it needs to be 0.6 by uh, November 10th, which is a week from tomorrow. I like so, it. <laughs> yeah, and so if the market just at least holds here right. in this percent, most likely there's a high probability that will trigger, and when the Zwag breath thrust indicator triggers, that means an intermediate term rally so that gives you quite a bit of 
information that in general this market is probably going to work higher all the way to year end. It is, so and, and, probably- and, and what's so cool, Tim and, and folks, is that you know if you've, you've been, I'm sure you've been following Tim and myself, right? And what had happened, folks, on the last one is that you know you can see that this is what's so cool about Tim's indicators, folks. Okay, you can see he had given you the number prior to it, right? The bottom line is that, well, two weeks ago when we hit that thing, the bottom line, well, the number didn't hit. Well, okay, the number didn't hit, number didn't hit. That, that's where patience comes in. Bottom line, we go a little bit lower, S&P comes, and we'll see whether it hits this time. But it's the, the indicators that Tim uses, folks, there's no subliterally, it's, they're not subtle. The bottom line is that they're black and white, which makes them so cool. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, that's, that's great news, that, Tim. That that's chart two. Chart two, okay. All right. So we kind of covered, you know, the uh, SPX VIX ratio. Yep. And then now this is the uh, tilt, you know, the 20 year bond uh, yes. to the VVIX. Yep. And the VVIX is the VIX of the VIX. Right. And why this works, I really don't know, really don't care. But I re- went back in years and it seems to work really well. So, um, Probably nobody ever tried this, uh, but anyhow, in a nutshell, which is so cool, I know. When the <laughs> when this when the S and P's make a lower low, I got circled in blue. The middle chart is the uh, TLT BBIX ratio, and below that, okay. on the bottom, is the SPY. And I Look got circled that. in blue. In other words, yep. when when the market goes down, there's actually two things. Um, of, of this, this, there's two things on this indicator. Um, the top window is the rate of change, the 10 period for the TLT BVIX ratio. The next window down is the RSI of the uh, TLT BX ratio. So I measured the velocity or the acceleration of this ratio. Yes. And when they, so when things really move fast, that's really a good sign. In other words, cause not only I got this idea when the market panics, it, it moves really fast. Right. And that's when everybody scatters. Well, that's the best time to get in the market. Right. And so you have to you have to figure out you know the velocity of the market to see where that bottom is. Yes. So I use this on the uh, TL uh, TLT VIX ratio. So anyhow, when when these two indicators ROC RSI of the TLT VIX ratio. Both hit in bearish territory. In other words, on the RSI is below 30, and on the uh, ROC uh, rate of change is below 20. When both those happen, you're at a short-term low. And all those red lines across the uh, um, graph there are times when both those indicators uh, reached uh, bullish levels. And, you know, pretty much uh, they all they all came at lows. It's all and, uh, it's so consistent. If you want if you if you're in your car, folks, remember that you can go watch this program tonight. But if you're watching it, you're gonna see the consistency here is amazing. You know what's really cool, Tim, is that looking at this last one, right? You can see what a higher high actually the S and P was when we actually got the when you got the signal, right? That's I mean and I can see oh, why no, left to the right, yeah. Actually, yeah. We're, we're, gonna, we're right. gonna blow that one up and look at it a little bit closer. Yeah. But uh all right, so so anyhow, so that's what one part of this chart is you get short term lows, and all those red lines are showing one of the short term lows. Then it turns around the market. That's usually not the bottom. It has been bottom in some cases, but not all, not all the cases. Then the market uh, takes a bounce, and it comes back down again, breaks new lows on the S and P's. That's why I got circled in low there. Okay, but the TLT VIX ratio makes higher lows. Now you're looking at a worthwhile low. Right. Something as something as a multi-week, if not a multi-month low. Okay. And uh, so, and uh, so anyhow, that's so that's this is kind of a two-prong indicator. Yes. So if you're playing options, this is good. When both those indicators hit below, you can have a, a week or two of, of a trade up on a long call or something like that. Right. But also, is you can do a, a multi-week, if not a multi-month trade, because. When you get divergence, makes higher lows on the TLT VIX ratio, and the S and P's make a lower low. You got a multi-month uh, rally. So, um, anyhow, let me. That's pretty cool, man. No, I, I get right. it. I get it. I'm telling you. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's, let's go to chart three. Okay. So this is a blown up portion 
of this ratio. I see. And okay. So, uh, if you go way to the right there, you know you got a, a short-term low on the uh, on that uh, on the on the two uh, ROC uh, RSI ratios. You got a minor bounce over the last couple of days. Then the market plummets again to new lows. Right. But look what the ratio does, TLT VIX ratio. Right. Now it's kind of, it's, a, it's a different than the SPY VIX ratio. This is the tilt, you know, the bonds to the uh, – so, yeah. I mean, to the VIX of the VIX, right. Quite a bit of information right. going in on the close of last Friday, or March 20 – or not March, but uh, October 27th. Yes. That, you know, I had a couple of different major divergences happening here. So I, I kind of went uh, – kind of leaned on that trade you know <laughs> they, they, they always comes on fridays they make you sweat the whole weekend i hate that right but, and if uh, you want to understand that trade folks just look at this trade for a second okay because this is really cool so i bring this over here you're talking about the spy at 409 and we're at 430 okay because that's that's where this was and maybe okay might have got it at 410 411 whatever that is but the bottom line is that that's where tim went long because that's where, that's where as we're going through these charts. And if you want to understand this, guess what? Come, come Tuesday. <laughs> because, you know, I, and I can give you some history with Tim, folks, okay? The bottom line, first time that he came, I brought him to Boston. I think it was 1995. And it changed my life. So <laughs> if you want to understand some ratios, and you will, you will just as Tim said, yeah, you're going to be long when people are shot, and you're going to be shot when people are long. <laughs> you know, but the bottom line is that he catches these moves, man. So, pretty cool, Tim. Yeah. Pretty cool. Right. You know, if you notice, I, you know, we were talking, I got out back in um, late July. Yes. And uh, uh, this is one of the reasons why, if you look at late July period, you know, the S&Ps were going up and up, and that ratio started going down. Right. And uh, so that's one of the reasons I got out. And uh, trading short to market in a bull market is kind of, you know, you know, the market went down, I don't know, 8, eight 10 percent, whatever. And I, I tried to short, uh, or actually I tried a long on a bounce that didn't work out well, lost 2 percent, went long again. And it didn't work out. But anyhow, the whole, the whole decline, I think the market went down 10 percent, and I was down 1 percent. Which so, is pretty cool. take. Uh, yeah, which is better than being down 10%. Yeah, totally. But, you know, so, I caught the bottom, so, you know, it's, 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 it's been good. Life's been good. I, yeah. I hear the, the music. That's again. right. Stay, stay right there. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors Bull Bear Ratios, and the Trend Panic Levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Tim Wood, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your corral on a problem with us out here. We have the Dow up 540, NASDAQ up 228, S&P's up 78. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. We are talking markets right now. Okay, Tim. All right. Um, actually, I'm looking at the, the market right now. We're up uh, like one point, a little less than two percent. And as long as yeah, I'm looking at the VIX, and as long as that VIX is down today, that bodes well for tomorrow. <laughs> so nice. Uh, a lot of time that VIX will will kind of be unchanged or even uh, up a little bit uh, when you get close to it. It'll be a minor or low. I mean, you'll have some sort of a consolidation at some point. But today will mark four days up in a row. Uh, that's, there's, there's a, I forgot what you call it, but if you're up four days in a row, quantitative uh, analysis, if you're up four days in a row, the market will be higher 73% of the time within five days. If you're up five days in a row, and our tomorrow's up, yes. the market will be higher within five days 83% of the time. So big numbers. Uh, so yeah, you know, this rally looks like it. You know, may get back up to those previous highs we had in. And uh, what October up there, you know, 440 range. Yeah, so I'm glad I'm glad you brought this up with the VIX too, Tim. So uh, I just put the VIX up too, folks. Okay, so you can see, you know, the VIX is staying low today. Okay, we, we just Tim yeah, is. Yeah, right. Tim, as long as it's down. Yes. And the SP is up. That's okay. That's what you if, want, if, exactly. If the VIX is kind of unchanged or even up today with the market up this much. Chances are tomorrow is going to be a down day, but we don't have that here. VIX is down decent. And if you notice, we're below, back below 17 again. Right. And, uh, you know, remember we, we on a previous show we talked about when the usually the VIX is below 17, yep. a lot of times you get a trending market. Yes. And so we're at 15.70 right now. Uh, so there's a chance that this market actually could keep just moving higher. Not every day is going to be an update. Uh, but if that VIX stays below uh, 17, you know, going into the weekend, uh, chances are next week will be up too. Right. Now, and there's something, folks, let me, Tim, just because what, what I want you to understand, folks, is this. Is that, okay, so we've been talking about you know, the bottom coming in here. Tim had just mentioned the aspect of, you know, and I remember this specifically, okay, in, in the July deal that he got out of the market. So what I want you to understand is that when you're coming over to this webinar, right, the bottom line is that these these tools, folks, okay, can help you on both ways. That That's the bottom line. This is not a one-way shot. This is what's so cool about what he does generally okay no in general period that's the bottom line okay you know um you know when everyone's and we know how this goes you know i, I think most of us know fundamentally you know how it goes but it's very tough to just turn around and say that okay man i'm gonna go long or i'm gonna go short and i'm gonna give it a shot without any real analysis behind it Do you know what i'm saying so you know pretty cool so no this is yeah, you'll have you'll you'll have reasons. You know, this these charts just don't. Um, you know, they 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 tell a story, and so the interpretation is not hard. You know, the hard part was figuring out what charts uh, to look at. You know, and what ratios to look at to, to give you the information you need 
to make wise decisions on your, your investments. Exactly. Stuff, so. I'd love to be a fly uh, in the wall in your room, like, you know, because I, I know for the amount of, you know, different ratios you have, Tim, okay, you know, and folks, this is real work, okay? This is, you know, the bottom line is you can go through, a, a, you know, I'm sure, you know, I'm, Tim, Tim's giving you these ratios, but I'm sure there's probably another hundred of them that he did, because I know him so well, that, you know, didn't give him anything. I mean, I mean that's yeah. that's you the type say, of work. You're right, you're right. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah, see my office. I, <laughs> I, I'm a visual person, so I don't, I, uh, yeah. I don't, to me, I, I, I've had a hard time writing. And uh, so everything's visual to me. So uh, my 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 walls are starting to to come in on me because I got graphs I everywhere, love it. and I put graphs of top graphs. You know, just yeah, you know, the Scotch tape to the wall. Listen, or, I'm or the exact whatever. same way, man. I Cause that's, yeah, I I love it because I can't. You, yeah. you know what's so crazy? I, I'm, I it, 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 yeah, uh, visuals. It's where it's at. I have to actually hear something and see something in order to understand it. I, you know, I just do. Let's, yeah, that's same with yeah. me. To me, I understand it. I can figure it out once it gets in front of my face. Yes. You know, yeah. After a while, I think, well, this thing makes sense, or yeah, you know, I can't find anything here, and so I kind of move on. And Pretty stuff. cool. But once I find something, then I. I try to hone it down, put different moving averages on it, or Bollinger Band. I put all stuff to it. So that's how I came up with these these ratios. And right. I, I did one, and I'm thinking, God, there's a lot of information and stuff. There and is a lot of information yeah. uh, that I know of. And so, well, in particular, yeah. because you know what's so cool here, Tim, right? I mean, I always watch the bond market, okay? And this is what's so cool, see, about this TLT and the VIX, VI, the VIX of the VIX. Because what happens, folks, is this. Bonds run the world. Interest rate structure runs the world. And yep. what he has here is he has interest rate structure with a fear gauge. <laughs> so it's like heaven. I mean, it's like that's that's well, it's actually a, a fear of a fear, <laughs> which is even better, right? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 there was. I tried it with the VVIX or VX, just the VIX. Yeah, it didn't seem to have to work well. For some reason, it works really well with this. Okay, and you can go back, which I could do. I go back, you know, 15, 20, 30 years. Yes, and you know, if it's, it gives that much information, the probabilities are like ninety or better. You know, that's a good indicator to watch. It is so. It Especially is. if you, you know if you can start stacking them. You I know, know this is the second indicator that we we covered today. that gave a, a bullish signal. Exactly. You know exactly. And uh, and so and, and also look at weeklies. Let's just flip to the the weekly chart, which is the last chart here. Okay. And uh, uh, the the top window or the is the weekly SPYs. Yep. And it's the weekly time frame. And. And I put a Bollinger Band on it, and every time uh, this the uh, S and P's close below the upper or lower Bollinger Band, usually the market reverses, and it works a lot better at bottom for some reason. So, and that lower Bollinger Band is two uh, two uh, deviations away from the norm, which okay. is the mid Bollinger Band. I see. So what it what it does is stress the market is stretched on a short term basis. So if you start going below the the lower Bollinger Band is really stretched. Yep. And a lot of times you get a snapback rally. And uh, if you notice, that's what happened last Friday. We closed oh, yeah. below the mid or the uh, lower Bollinger Band. There you go, folks. And so I, kn I knew the market was stretched. Look at it. So, yep. And, and uh, that, that was uh, another indicator. Now, if you look at the bottom window, which is the VIX, and that's another reason. This is on weekly time frames. The VIX didn't confirm it, the VIX went sideways. And all those little blue uh, areas there is where yep. the market, you know, breaks new lows and the VIX goes sideways. And this is on a weekly time frame, not a daily. Right. So there was a huge divergence last Friday. Yeah. So pretty amazing, um, no doubt. Gotta love it. Yeah. So so anyhow, that's that's the reason why I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm long. So you know, where's the sell signal at? I don't know, but I'll get some indicators. We'll we'll present them as we go forward with this trade. Right. You know, when it uh, gets to maybe a danger level, I'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, the way it's going for, uh, so far right now, with four days up, you know, we got a 73 percent chance the market will be higher. And if tomorrow's up. We have an 83% chance we'll be hired in the next five days. So, Well, listen, man, um, I appreciate all the work, you know, and once again, congratulations, man. I mean, because just the way you break markets down is just phenomenal, man. You have a great weekend, right. Tim, a safe weekend, and we're going to uh, talk in on Tuesday, and you're going to be doing that webinar on Tuesday, man.
All right, we'll talk to you then. Okay, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's up 570, Nasdaq's up about 233, S&Ps are up uh, 81, and uh, there's no doubt they ran this into the close. The... Um, and the notes and bonds, folks, you can see the note and bond. Actually, let me bring up the 30 year for you, too, because this is, you know, this like a, an elastic band that's basically snapped on the other side. You can see, I mean, we've been on a one way trip for a year and a half in, in the night inside the note and bond market, folks. Okay, now the, the, the correction in the SP was really small compared to the note and bond market. And that's why you're seeing what you're actually seeing, you know, because if I'm, I'm correct, if I am correct in the aspect that we have topped, you're gonna you're gonna see um, you're gonna see quite a bit of business being done, you know, right across the United States. I mean, in a monster way, you know, because what had happened is that you know the the interest rate structure hits everything, including durable goods. Durable goods, folks, is a monster part of our economy, uh, and once this releases. And when you do release off bottoms, folks, most of the time it's pretty quick. So I think the first percentage point, meaning like at, uh, like if we go to the mortgage market today, you know, we, if we were at eight, we're probably already at about seven and a half, seven, three quarters, seven and a half. We'll, we'll, we'll be on this under seven, like pretty quickly. 
Um, you know, five and a half is the number, just so if, you, if you understand. Five and a half is the number that you get an explosion. And as I was talking about yesterday, um, you know, <coughs> what does happen, if you are looking for a house, you better keep this in mind because as those rates go down, you got to see houses go up because they've been, they, they, you know, they've been saying they go up one or two percent or something. But the bottom line, you'll see them go up because it's all about the signature once again. And that's one side of it. Now, the other side of it, there'll be other people that are, that are pushing houses into the marketplace. But you're still not going to get people pushing houses into the marketplace that have interest rate structure at basically, you know, three, three or four. Doesn't make any sense. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Apple, 415. Apple's coming out with numbers, folks, okay? That is going to make a difference inside the marketplace. We'll see uh, just how this baby shakes out. So have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.